company, a conservative content, co pseudo conservative content company. I am so disappointed in Tenant Media right now. Paid chills, right. seriously? And apparently, the indictment alleges that defendants have deployed nearly $10 million laundered through a network of foreign shell entities to covertly fund and direct Tenant Media. Shots fired, folks. Conservative media has been under intense fire on social for quite some time now, but with what just happened with tenant media, it's about to get a whole lot worse. Some of your favorite right-leaning channels could be in danger, and it would not be unreasonable to fathom waking up one day and not finding a single trace of them anywhere on YouTube. The company never disclosed to the influencers or to their millions of followers its ties to RT and the Russian government. Instead, the defendants and the company claimed that the company was sponsored by a private investor. But that private investor was a fictitious persona. Lauren may have taken money from Russians that were formerly associated with RT, but there is no such evidence, not even in the indictments, that they had true editorial control over what was being pushed or made. We even saw that based on the content. So... Now, to see YouTube do this, it basically signals, it's the first shot across the bow, that essentially, they're going to start taking down content that they suspect to be Russian interference or disinformation being seeded through influencers. And guess what? The content that they took down is just baseline conservative talking points. It's not even that strong of, you know, far-right rhetoric. It's just baseline conservative anti-woke stuff. So get ready, because now when they start coming after anti-woke content, y'all kind of gave them the credence, because I told people, ignore this shit. Let it go. It you know, if it wasn't for these Russian propagandists, they were the only thing, Tim Pool, Taylor Hansen, Lauren Ching Chong Chen, they were the only thing preventing me from wanting to give a blank check to Ukraine and serving on their foreign legion right now. As a matter of fact, I'm going to the enlistment office tomorrow to go join the Ukraine army. So, just permanently banned on YouTube, uh, no explanation at all. It says I can never own a channel or operate a channel ever again, so that's lovely. Uh, obviously admits the DOJ indictment um, of the alleged activities of Russian funding. Um, you know, Tenet Media was banned almost immediately, uh, Lauren Chen was banned almost immediately, and now I was banned with no explanation, even though the indictment states, you know, if these charges are true, these allegations are true, we're all victims, the people that were hosts there and me as a reporter there. So it's interesting. It seems like the uh, censorship czar is back out in full force. It's election season, baby. So yeah, ban with no explanation. I wonder if they're gonna stop here or are they just gonna take it all the way? They're gonna ban anyone that was ever affiliated with his brand, um, which is absolutely mind boggling to me, but there you go. Permanently banned, you gotta love it. I love America, y'all. Censorship is great, keep it up. The liberals are unleashing an internet censorship law known as Bill C-23. Even if they weren't, three oceans can be deplatformed at any time for any reason. That's why I want to invite you to join the Three Oceans newsletter. If standing up against mass immigration, excessive taxation, the housing crisis, and the woke agenda is important to you, joining the Three Oceans newsletter is the best move you can make. It's free and it will never be deplatformed. Unlike this channel and other social media accounts, the Three Oceans newsletter is no holds barred and uncensored. Also, you can count on your data being protected and not being monitored like it is on social media. So visit 3oceans.ca. Once again, that's 3oceans.ca to subscribe and beat the woke authorities trying to control the narrative like they control your government. If you subscribe to this channel, you may have seen this thumbnail pop up in your feed. Within moments of initially publishing it, I was given notice that my video was going to be rated 18 because of violent content. I wasn't too thrilled about this, but begrudgingly accepted it. What I found odd about it is that those so-called violent clips I used, most of them came from YouTube to begin with, and the source video wasn't marked the same way. But the real kicker was when I woke up the day after publishing that video and got this notice. Imagine my surprise when I opened my email and found that subject line, your content was removed due to a violation of our community guidelines. They gave me an option. I could either take a test or some sort of training, or I could have them review the content. 
I clicked on the review content button and YouTube did actually reinstate my video right away, but that doesn't change the fact that I could have lost a ton of hard work all because of just one tiny algorithm. This whole situation explains why you've seen me pushing my viewers to subscribe to the Three Oceans newsletter because it's the only safety we have. Since 2018, YouTube has been on a mission to cleanse its platform of anything it deems even remotely controversial. So what is controversial? controversial? Well, let's just say they really err on the side of safety and consider everything to be controversial first, and you have to appeal your way out of it if it's not the case. What we're seeing happening right now with the whole tenant media story unfolding, you can bet YouTube is going to triple down now. Given my subject matter, I wouldn't be surprised if one day I wake up and I get a notice that my entire channel has been wiped out of existence. I can't run the risk of having YouTube put out an algorithm that wipes out any and all videos that talk about tenant media. This will be the only video I do about tenant media since my recent misadventures has shown me YouTube will bring the hammer down on a whim. If that's the case, then at least only this video will vanish. But I will continue to cover it and other spicy topics in the Three Oceans newsletter, so be sure to subscribe to it at threeoceans.ca. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video.